Guadalcanal is at the center of a bitterly fought battle. The U.S. Marines are battling to defend their foothold on the island, and the Japanese are increasingly determined to drive them back into the sea. Both sides are being reinforced, but the situation remains a stalemate. Under cover of night, the Japanese use their warships to shell Henderson Airfield and to ship in reinforcements via the so-called Tokyo Express. Reports of an unguarded convoy inbound have proven to be unfounded. Nevertheless, the U.S. are hoping for their first victory in a surface night battle. Welcome back, guys. Unfortunately, I've got some bad news. I was just talking with the rest of the group, and Antian, Ty, and Tant so far have said they don't want to continue making videos for the channel. So they are officially done with the channel. Um, I don't know where Classy King sits. I'm still waiting to hear what he wants to do. But as far as I know, I still want to make videos for you guys. So this channel may or may not be mine in the end. And only mine. But if they wish to collab together in the future, I would welcome it. But as for now, I think everybody else wants to go their own way because their priorities have changed. But that, I will still be making videos for you guys, problems. and I will God, possibly God. have to change the channel name if Classy King decides to part with us. But, enough of that. We are playing Battle Station Specific. It's a World Sir, War II naval and we can't let them uh, Our foothold on aircraft game. Stick. We have to hold them off. Helena, so, take evasive action and hold on. We're coming. It's one of my, well, one of my favorites, mainly because you get to you get to command several different types of ships, ranging from destroyers to aircraft carriers to battleships. So yeah, it, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, I recommend it to all those who are trying to find a game. It's a little older. Then, you know, Xbox 360. This game was actually made for Xbox, like the original Xbox. But because of the time frame that it came out, it will still play on Xbox 360. So, I guess I'm one of the lucky ones that still have it. I mean, I still have an Xbox 360, or excuse me, I still have an Xbox, but. No, I don't like using it too much because it's really old and I can't connect my game card to the, uh, or my game capture card to the Xbox. So, fortunately, it's still playable on Xbox 360. Man, this cruiser is really, really slow. But, uh, I apologize that my videos have been uploading out of schedule. I get busy every now and then, and it's very hard for me to upload some days. But, uh, just know that I will always be making videos whenever I can. I will always upload them whenever I've got the time. It's just between work and school starting back up, it's... Know, it's challenging sometimes, but if I've got the time to upload a video, you can trust me that I will upload a video. It's hard to find games that aren't being played already on YouTube by other people, so... If you think I'm just copying somebody else, I'm really not. I'm just trying to find a game that I can play that would be interesting because I'm not quite sure what games you guys like to watch. 
Um, just kind of why I ask you guys to leave a comment for what game you'd want me to wa or want me to, to play. But nobody has commented, so I kind of have to guess what you guys want me to play. So hopefully you enjoy these videos. Um, I will be finishing off Halo Reach, but based on the fact that there are a lot of people out there in the world already making videos of Halo Reach and Halo in general, I think I might take a break from Halo as soon as I finish Reach. So, we are ready to rejoin formation and await further yeah. orders. Don't ever break fleet formation again. Is that clear? Message received and understood, sir. It better be. No one takes risks like that with my men's lives. The Duncan has taken hits on her turrets. The artillery systems are damaged. We need to mobilize our repair crew. Okay. Artillery systems are back up and running. We're ready for battle. Damn it, sir. We've got two Japanese ships incoming, both the Cow class cruisers. We'll deal with them when we can. They'll just have to wait their turn. But they'll cause devastation. We have to tackle them now. Are you telling me what to do, First Lieutenant? No, sir. I just think that the threat level is high. You do your job, I'll do mine. I don't envy those Marines. Every time they rebuild that airstrip, the Japanese knock it out again. We're gonna change all that. Tonight, we turn the enemy back. Interesting thing about this game is it awards you medals based on how well you did in the game. Like, for example, if you met all the requirements, all of the objectives, it'll give you a gold medal. But if, let's say, you, you miss a secondary objective, secondary objectives aren't really important, but they do give you bonus points. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just... And also, it also gives you achievements as well. So... And you don't have to complete everything, but if you want a gold medal, it makes you complete everything. But, like, let's say you just do the, um, the primary objectives. If you do all those, it'll give you, like, a silver or a bronze. But if you do all the secondaries, it'll give you a silver. And if you do all the sil all of the, uh, the uh, secondary objectives, primary objectives, and the hidden objectives, it'll give you a gold medal. Sometimes the gold medal requires you to sink every ship of the enemy fleet. Let's see. The fleet's been reunited. That basically means that I can control every ship in my fleet. But for me right now, skill level, that's a little hard to manage when you're fighting off two warships at the same time. I just, honestly guys, I can't believe that Five Guys Gaming has, well, it's basically not what it used to be. I just, I can't believe that. Like, I, it's a shock for me. I don't really know how to react to it. We had good runs with each other. We never really got to 
accomplish the plans we had laid out as far as group videos go. We've been, we've been trying for months to get a group video going, but it just never happened. Everybody got so busy and priorities changed very quickly that they just couldn't keep up with the channel. That you, as you have noticed, I've been the only one uploading and posting videos for the last couple months. And they've all been busy with work or school or you name it, other stuff. And I just never thought I'd see this day where you know, the, the team splits up and does their own thing. Incoming enemy supply ships have been sighted at nearby island, sir. We need to confirm that and get ready to hit them. And fast! Fast. We've been working flat out for a long time. And we'll continue to do so until Japan realizes that they've lost the war in the Pacific. Is that clear? Sir, I was only concerned for the men under your command. They are my concern. I'll ask again. Is that clear, First Lieutenant? Sir, yes, sir. Some PT boats are One nasty of our ships is business. Going down, sir. Get a vessel there to pull out the survivors. Looks like I'm switching sir, to a destroyer. As tankers, a fuel restock for the Japanese forces on Guadalcanal. Fast moving patrol boats are escorting. The destroyers are faster. Make sure those tankers don't reach the island. Come on, San Francisco, get out of my way. Fine, you're gonna be like that. Might as well go full reverse. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Oh, whew. Must rescue those sailors. I believe the ship that's going down over here with the silver icon over there, I believe it's an Atlanta class cruiser. I'll zoom in on it when we get close enough, but it really looks like a Atlanta class cruiser. Those are the tankers. Ooh. Can I pull this off without hitting anybody? Woohoo! One of the YouTubers that I really like to watch, as far as his World of Warships and his Sir, World of Tanks, is, is up a small number is, of unidentified units to the uh, the enemy I believe in World of Warships he's known through. as Rear Admiral Find Jingles, and, and then in World of War or World of Tanks he's known as the Mighty Jingles. I just love watching his videos because they're very. How do I describe it? They're very. Uh, well put together the descriptions of everything he's playing as is well it's better than I could describe anything as far as vehicles and he explains them so well that I wonder if he's looking at a sheet of paper as he's talking but uh, I don't think I'll ever know but, uh, yeah, he's, he's a very good YouTuber. 
and I would like to get World of Warships off of Steam, but my computer is just not compatible enough to download it just because of memory space. Put some torpedoes in the water. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, it's either going down. looks Sir. like. We've rescued most of a the Cleveland class ship. cruiser instead of a Atlanta class. Huh. Cleveland, hmm. How about that? This guy is going to be slow. The hidden objective is to my left. There is a uh, secondary convoy of a cargo ship and two destroyers trying to sneak away from the main battle. And if I don't sink that hidden convoy, I won't get the gold medal. Just they don't light up. Oh, there he is, right there. If you look on the map of the top right of the screen, you'll see that there's two, maybe three red dots over there. That's the convoy I'm after. Enemy vessel is heading for the bottom, sir. There you are. They're out of range, and I can't shoot at them. I'm not quite sure what the range limit for these cruisers are. And it's at least half a mile. This destroyer's trying to face down a cruiser. That's not going to end well for him. Okay, blew up his magazine. Better not launch torpedoes at me. There's nothing worse than being in a slow maneuvering ship like a cruiser or a battleship, being surrounded by destroyers, and they all decide to dump their torpedoes right at you. There's not really any escape of that. I was playing this game one time when I was in the battleship Iowa, and I had three destroyers. I had one in front of me, one to my left side, and one to my right. And they all decided to dump their torpedoes at the same time, and there was just no way I could get out of there. Long story short, I was able to have my damage team, or my damage repair team, uh, work on it, but it only prolonged the inevitable, and I eventually sunk. Confirming so, that the enemy convoy is destroyed, sir. Yeah, it's just being in a battleship and being surrounded by destroyers is not the best situation to be in. turning radius of these heavy cruisers is ridiculously slow and long. I'm guessing 
since that oil tanker is about 1.2 miles away, I'm guessing the range of these guns is about a mile. So, just need to get within range before my fleet destroys that last tanker so I can get in on some of this fight. Doesn't look, does not look like I'm going to make it. Enemy vessel is heading for the bottom, sir. Well, that's today's video. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, come back next week for some more videos. And I will see you later.